meaning all other things being equal. Let's start by considering the impact of the price of the product on the quantity demanded. In this case, we'll regard all the other variables except the price as constant. That's why we place a bar on top of them. Based on what we learned earlier about the price of our favourite fast food, what's the relationship between the price of that food and the amount we demand of it? That's right. The lower the price, the more we want of it. Or, as a true economist would say, the higher the price, the lower the quantity of fried chicken demanded, and vice versa. This is known as a negative or inverse relationship. As one variable goes up, the other comes down, and vice versa. Now, this relationship between the price of a good or service and the quantity demanded of it is so important, and economists are so confident about it. That we've given it the status of a law, the law of demand. Now, the law of demand, simply stated, says that the higher the price of a good or service, the lower the quantity demanded of it, etc. As paribus, all other things being equal. Now, this isn't a law in the legal sense. You won't go to jail if you disobey it. Think of it more like a natural law, something that economists have found to be true again and again. And in situation 